If the bank won't give you a loan to start this business, it's not a business. Boom, wham bam, no thank you ma'am. If you're trying to actively throw your money away, join an MLM. Ooh. By the end of this video, you will understand why you are far too intelligent to join an MLM. Welcome back to Glam Life by Meg, where I teach you how to efficiently and glamorously live your very best life. Say hi in the comments if you're new here. It's nice to virtually meet you. Before we get to the good stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to ring that bell so that you can be notified every single time that I post a video. Yes, you. I see how smart you are doing your research before you jump into something. You're so smart. You're so smart. By the end of this video, you will understand why you are far too intelligent to join an MLM. Welcome back to my series on multi-level marketing. If you are unfamiliar, this is episode five. So click right up here and you can watch all of the episodes in order so you can see exactly what MLMs are, how the recruitment process works, and all the different stuff that we have already covered on the topic of MLMs. Let's talk briefly about the type of people that MLMs prey on. MLMs prey on people who are either one, book smart, but not necessarily street savvy. Two, people who are vulnerable and are therefore more susceptible to scams, especially due to life circumstances. Or three, people who are not fully educated by traditional standards. This one really upsets me because they often tell you that this is the only way you can make money without a degree. They also say the same thing to women, regardless of how educated you actually are. To be clear, that is not the only way to make money. Actually, that's one of the best ways to lose money. If you're trying to actively throw your money away, join an MLM. Now this doesn't stop them from fully taking advantage of anyone who will listen. And that's probably why you clicked on this video because somebody approached you. You want to make sure that you're doing the right thing for yourself and your family before you make the commitment. Here's the short answer. Don't do it. Don't do it. And roll credits. <laughs> Take it from someone who got sucked in not even knowing what was happening. I had no idea what was going on. And then the next thing I knew, hundreds of dollars was being taken out of my bank account. It was a really sketchy situation. We can save that for another video. It is tragic trying to get out of one after you've been sucked in. Though I have helped a couple people get out of them, which is exciting bettering the world. If you'd like to see a video on how to take actionable steps to get yourself out of an MLM, please let me know down below and I'm happy to make that for you. But let's just keep you from joining in the first place, right? Right. At this point, you've seen what the approach looks like because you've watched my previous videos. It can be really hard to turn people down because we're nice people. We're all genuinely nice people and we want to let people say their piece and we feel bad telling them no and they take full advantage of that, which is the problem. They want to make sure that you listen to them and they want to make sure you hear everything they have to say and they always have an answer for you as to why you should do it. Oh, you don't have money? Use your stimulus check. Ew, that is so gross and taking advantage of people for all the wrong reasons. You nasty. You nasty if you're doing this. Most of us are just too kind to stop people in their tracks and say, no. This is what I have learned from most of my encounters with MLMers or Hunbots as they have come to be known. Do not waste their time. They don't care about wasting your time, but you better not waste theirs. So please muster up the courage to just interrupt them and politely let them know that you are not interested. They want to move on to their next target as quickly as possible. So do not worry about offending them. If this is someone who you know and you want to continue the relationship with them, maybe they're a friend or a family member, my next video will be an exact script of how to politely turn somebody down for their MLM. You are a polite person already. Do your best to be kind, but do not worry too much about offending them, especially if they're a stranger. Why is a stranger coming up to you and talking to you? Yes, this happens. This happens to me all the time, especially at my place of work, which is Be your kind self, but be stern so that they know not to roll over you. I will be uploading a video next week on the exact script that I use, especially when talking to friends and or family members. This is the script that I use with friends and family members with whom I do not want to ruin the relationship. Now let's get into the reasons why you are too smart to join an MLM. One, you have a skill set. Whether this is in one particular area or a full-blown liberal arts degree, you have some sort of skill set that you would rather monetize than someone's junky products. The point here is that you have enough skills to make it in life. You don't need this. Two, you have a job. Now this is not me knocking side hustles. I am the queen of side hustles. Stay tuned for a video on me ranking all of the side hustles that I have tried. But if you have a job that pays you a living wage without putting in all this extra work to work for somebody else's business, to work for all these products, trying to sell these products that don't work and you have to put in all this money just to start it, 
No. That will add so much more stress to your life that you do not need. Three, you are passionate about something else. What are you passionate about? I doubt it's those ugly leggings from LuLaRoe. I'm just saying, probably not that. Wham bam, no thank you ma'am. I recently talked to my friend Amanda, who has been a part of MLMs in the past, but decided to launch her own business instead, and has a little bit of advice for those of you who have an entrepreneurial spirit. You so truly want like, a side business that's gonna like, you know, get your student loans paid off, pay off your car early, big nest egg kind of thing. Like you need to go out and develop your own product. And that's that's what my husband and I did. Um, if you truly want something on the side that you can potentially even grow into full-time, leave your full-time like corporate job, definitely design your own product, create something, something you're passionate about. I think that really is what has made us pretty successful is we're both super passionate about the you know, debt-free journey and all that stuff. And just, we work it every day, you know? Right. It's something you're willing to put the hours into. Four, you know how to manage your time. And this one just doesn't add up. You often hear, I make a thousand dollars a week and I only have to work no more than 20 hours to get that. That is one of the biggest hooks that they use. It's not adding up, is it? They lie. They absolutely lie. That lady that you see driving the pink Cadillac that Mary Kay paid for? Well, if you open her trunk, it's going to be filled with the product that she had to buy to get there. And don't even get me started on what the inside of her garage looks like. If you have to pay to play and go into debt in order to start this business, it's not a good idea. Walk into a bank and tell them that you want a loan to start your Mary Kay business and they will laugh you right out. They will laugh you right out of the bank because it's not a legitimate business. If the bank won't give you a loan to start this business, it's not a business. Boom, right? Am I right? There is an entire rabbit hole worth of content here on YouTube that explains to you that over 99% of people who join MLMs actually lose money. Not gain money, not break even, lose money. I don't know about you, but I don't like those odds. So clearly I cannot recommend this type of business to you. That would be unethical. And number five, it just feels wrong. You have your instincts. You know in your gut that this just doesn't sound right. And that's why you're here. You clicked on this video, like what is going on with these MLMs? You know, my friend wants me to join. My cousin's doing it and they're selling Arbonne or Mary Kay or Rodin and Fields or Monat or Beauty Counter or Beachbody or LuLaRoe or I could go on, I could go on. You feel suspicious because the entire onboarding process is sketchy as heck. You're right. They don't wanna tell you the name of their business. They don't wanna tell you how to join. They don't wanna tell you anything. They want you to just come to a meeting and then you're just gonna be ah, like ready to join because the, their upline went and talked to you about it. If the word upline is a part of the business, run, run so far away. There you have it. You are far too smart to join an MLM and you know it. Feel free to leave a comment here or send me a DM over on Instagram at Glam Life by Meg with any questions that you have. I'm happy to help and support you. Before you go, make sure to answer the question of the day in the comment section below. And until next time, stay hydrated sis. I like my preposition. It's okay to like them as long as they're in the correct place. It's like, you could like horses, but it's okay to not like it in your kitchen. That's, that's so not true. The place where the horse is supposed to be. That's the truth right there. He's not kidding. Wham bam, no thank you ma'am. Gotta have these catchphrases going, you know? Someday that's gonna be the merch line.